This weekend, I went out with my friend for a movie. So we went out, we enjoy the movie, and on returning, when I come back, I figure out that there is something wrong because the application, the door unlock system, which we designed in the last video, was not working for me. I didn't know that what was the reason. So to figure out, I have to go to my place first, and for that. Firstly, I'll have to call someone so that they will unlock the door for me. So I call someone, they unlock the door for me and I reach my place. When I reach my place, I found out that the problem was with the router. I don't know what was the issue, but my internet was not working. And just because of that, my instructions were not getting read by ESP32. So I decided to do something for it. And for that, I thought like at least I should get an acknowledgement signal getting up the uh, status like what status we have for the instruction that we have sent so that accordingly i can decide that whether everything is working or not right so i thought of making it now let me show you how exactly we're gonna get this acknowledgement signal so that you can also implement this into your project so let's move ahead Hey everyone, Ashish and this side from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to another exciting video in the series of ESP IDF. Like you have seen in the beginning of this video, what problem we are exactly facing. Now we are going to proceed ahead and we will see that how you are going to understand and how you are going to get the acknowledgement signal from the MQTT. So basically, it's like that we are going to send a request or in simple terms, if you talk uh, with respect to the MQTT, we'll simply say that you will get a published request from the application side and that published request will be taken as a subscribe re uh, request on your ESP32. Now, once the ESP32 will simply be able to execute the functionality, we want that at that moment means after completing the task we want that we will get an acknowledgement signal or simple terms we can say that we are going to get a published request from the esp32 that we will be subscribing on the application side so that we can accordingly display or you can say so that we can accordingly get an indication that yes your task has been completed or in other words we can simply say that the door is unlocked successfully. Now you can do whatever you want, right? So in simple word, it's a clear indication that everything worked perfectly. You don't have to hit another request or there is no issues like that. So this is what exactly we will be covering right now. Now let's move ahead and let's understand how you're going to do that in the coding part. So let's move in here. All right, everyone. So now I think we can proceed ahead and let's see that how are we going to get this acknowledgement signal so that we can accordingly control this entire functionality that we have already seen in the previous video. So to do that, uh, I hope everyone can see my screen and over here, this is the same code that we uh, used in the last video but yes i have made few changes in this so that i can demonstrate you like what changes i'm making in here and how i'm going to get the acknowledgement signal from there right and to do that i am pretty much sure that all of you remember that in our last video that we have used this topic basically to publish or let's say publish from the application side and to subscribe on your ESP32 side. So this is what exactly we did and this was the topic which we used. Now to get the acknowledgement signal, what exactly we are about to do right now is that we are going to take one extra topic for this, right? I'm going to show you the very simple step so that you can get the acknowledgement. And in this uh, case, what we are going to do is we are going to take a second uh, topic which we will be using to publish as well as to subscribe. Now, why we are going to do uh, this publish and subscribe both that I will explain you. And for that, let me do one thing. Let me show you what's the topic. So this topic slash door slash status is that topic which we will be using as an acknowledgement uh, topic for publish and subscribe both right now 
this is the topic which we have uh, like uh, published over here and initially when i'm publishing it i'm just making sure that the device or you can say that your door is locked already right so initially when your mqtt or you can say when your esp32 will start it will simply publish a message and that message will be locked and that message will be sent on this particular topic right so this is what we're gonna do and similarly we are also subscribing it just to see like what data we are getting on that right but this is not mandatory over here you can uh, skip this as well right now let's move to the main thing right so this was the condition which we applied in the last video where we were actually controlling the relay so when to on it when to off it so this is what we were doing and over here what i am doing is i'm just simply publishing a message in short you can say when i have already received a message when i've already subscribed on this topic that yes we have got a request to unlock the door at that time i'm simply unlocking it and once the door is unlocked along with that i have simply sent a publish request to this status topic which is this topic slash door slash status and i've sent a message as unlocked so basically this means that door is unlocked and this is going to be working as an acknowledgement signal so that you can accordingly uh like make sure that whether your door is unlocked or not and in fact due to any of the reason you don't have to wait and you don't have to like uh, uh what we say that you don't have to actually uh think that yeah door is opening in case there is network issue or anything you can simply check the status on your application itself and this is what exactly we're gonna do right so this publish is going to do that and one more thing i'm doing in here is because when i'm publishing this message this will simply indicate on my application that yes the door is unlocked so after that i have to return to the actual state as well right and for that reason i have simply created a second condition over here that is to check the status topic right i'm gonna check the status topic and i'm gonna check what's the message that we have got so basically when this will be unlocked at that time i simply have to print this that door is unlocked and accordingly this is going to return or this is going to provide a delay of 10 seconds because i don't want to do it immediately i just want to take a delay of 10 seconds and after that i want to hit the second request this is how exactly i'm gonna do right so that's the reason i have done this and as per that once this 10 second is over i am going to send a publish request from the esp32 side so that i can simply specify that yes now the door is locked and now you can hit a, another request so this is the way like how i'm going uh, to use this second topic just to get an acknowledgement signal for that and accordingly i'm also providing a delay of 10 seconds in between right so this is the way like how i'm getting the acknowledgement signal i hope you have got an idea that how exactly we are doing it now that you have understood this let's do one thing let's upload this code and let's check that whether it is actually working or not right so let me do it let me connect the esp32 to the system okay i have connected the esp32 to the system or you can say to the device to the system now just allow it and you know what next you have to do just go to the terminal and over here we just have to pass this command idf.py build and uh, just flash it and monitor it let's press enter let's wait for it to finish all right so the program is uploaded successfully and now you can see it is connected to the router as well and that's the reason you can see we are able to see all this stuff right and before deploying it or let's say before testing it with the application let me do one thing let me go to the mqtt x and let me show you that uh, whether it is actually uh like uh, using this publish and subscribe thing to uh, get the message and accordingly to acknowledge that so let me open up the mqtt x 
so i have already opened it and you can see i have already added the topics over here so that i can accordingly send the request right so basically this all functionality is going to be executed when i will hit this open request or let's say the door open request right so you can see i have simply passed this topic door unlock so that i can send this open request and accordingly this should be happening with a delay of 10 seconds and all right so let me send this message and let me publish it you can see so you can see i got this published request door is unlocked and accordingly we have the message as well so you can see we have got this unlocked message on this status topic this is how we are getting it now we have to wait for 10 seconds right once 10 second is over it will simply return this final message as locked right so you can see 10 seconds are over and we have got the final message as locked that means now the door is locked completely now the next thing is you can hit another request right so this is how we have got it now let's proceed to the application side and accordingly let's create this entire functionality so that we can see all this indication and everything on the application side only right so let me go there all right everyone so as you can see on your screen this is the application or you can say this is the dashboard where we have a button that is to unlock the door and this unlocking the door is absolutely working and that we have already tested in the previous video as well so it's working absolutely fine now let's proceed ahead and let's add this acknowledgement thing as well right so the button is already there now we have to add the indication so that we can use this acknowledgement status or you can say acknowledgement topic and accordingly we can display a message and for that you can see on this bottom side we have this plus symbol just click on that and over here you can see we have this led indicator in case you want to use anything else you can use that and you can perform any other functionality as well but i just want to show you with the led indication so you can see this led indicator i'll click on this and i'll start filling up the details accordingly right so firstly i'm gonna write a panel name and the panel name is going to be door status right i'm giving it like this and accordingly you have to pass the topic now now let me pass the topic for this status now over here you have to pass the payload on and payload off so basically you are going to tell that when your led should be turned on and when your led should be turned off right so this is uh, the payload for that basically so i want my led to be turned on when the door is unlocked right so for that i'll pass this unlock so this unlocked and locked this is the same message that we have sent or we have subscribed on this particular topic so you have to uh, write exactly the same the spelling mistake and the case sensitivity thing should not be there right so it should be exactly the same how you're sending from your esp32 side right so this is, should be the exactly same right so when it is on we are sending unlocked when it is off we are sending locked now over here on icon and off icon we have the options and over here you can see icon color you can decide the color if you want to change it but right now i'm gonna use this red color only so that's why i'm keeping it like this but when it is off i'm going to take it as gray right now over here i'm setting up the item size as large so i'm gonna use that similarly i don't have to select any other option and that's it quality of service is zero only so don't change it and at last just create it so I'll click on this yeah so finally we have this functionality ready and now you can see door unlock and this is the status for that right so let me quickly uh, do one thing let me quickly uh, control this and let me show you how we are going to get it on the system side and accordingly on this application side and after that we'll see the demonstration right so let me start that so over here let's see i'll click on this button basically door unlock so i've hit a request you can see the door is unlocked and accordingly this led is turned red right so that means your door is unlocked already now let's wait for 10 seconds so that your status gets changed right so you can see the status is changed automatically
this is the way like how the functionality is going to happen in real time right so this is the way how it works right so this is all about it so the door is locked now let me open it up in the application let me on the indication wait for 10 seconds see indication so this was it i hope you have liked this video and if you have liked this video do click on the like button and if you're new to this channel and if you haven't subscribed to us then please click on the subscribe button so that you won't miss any upcoming future videos from our channel so that you will get the benefits of that so this was it see you in the next video till then bye bye and happy learning